to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss all of the plans that Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios have for the D23 Expo 2022. For those of you who don't know, the D23 Expo is a massive Disney fan event, taking place September 9th to 11th in Anaheim this year. I will be attending the expo for all three days, so definitely subscribe if you want to keep up with my coverage. The main event for animation fans of the expo is the Looking Ahead with the Walt Disney Studios panel. It is taking place Friday, September 9th at 3.30pm in Hall D23. D23 described the panel as follows. On Friday, September 9th, thousands of Disney fans will be welcomed to Hall D23 for a special look at upcoming films and series. Pixar Animation Studios Chief Creative Officer Pete Docter and Walt Disney Animation Studios Chief Creative Officer Jennifer Lee will present never-before-seen footage, surprise announcements, musical performances and appearances by all-star voice talent from the studio's upcoming slate of original animated films and series. The reference to musical performances proves that the 2023 film is a musical. For Pixar, attendees will get an inside look at Pixar's unique perspective-shifting long-form series Win or Lose, which launches on Disney Plus next year. Also, Peter Soon, who will direct Pixar's 2023 feature Elemental, will transport fans to a city where fire, water, land and air residents live side by side. I think that the voice actors for Elemental will be announced and make an appearance. Additionally, I am expecting more details about Pixar's two 2024 films, releasing in March and June. Disney Animation, my favourite branch of the company, of course has some amazing things planned. Disney Animation's Academy Award winning director Don Hall will journey alongside fans deep into the uncharted and treacherous land with Strange World, releasing November 23. And Disney Animation and their collaborators from the Pan-African comic book company Kugali will reveal new details about Awaju, a long-form sci-fi series set in Lagos, Nigeria, that launches on Disney Plus next year. I think that it is odd that the Tiana series was not mentioned as it is due to release in 2023 as well. This could be a sign that it has been delayed, which isn't good. During the panel, I would also expect an announcement of Disney's 2023 feature films and possibly the 2024 films. I have created separate videos about what these films are rumoured to be, so check them out if you want more information. I am also hoping that Frozen 3 gets announced because I love Frozen so, so much. In addition to the main panel, there are five smaller panels. Trace Back, celebrating the people of Walt Disney Animation Studios, a century of storytelling of Walt Disney Animation Studios, a celebration of Disney Animation's Encanto, sneak peek at Zootopia Plus from Walt Disney Animation Studios, and a hundred years of treasures from the Walt Disney Animation Research Library. Obviously, I am most excited for the Encanto panel. Their attendees will join the team behind Disney Animation Studios' Academy Award winning hit Encanto for stories behind the making of the film and a few surprises. I am hoping that the surprise is a live performance of We Don't Talk About Bruno because that would be incredible. In addition, D23 has promised animation related interactive displays, artist autograph signings, shareable photo opportunities, filmmaker Q&As and giveaways. Disney Animation and Pixar are going to create an immersive animation experience on the show floor. The studio's upcoming original feature films including Disney Animation's Strange World releasing this November and Pixar's June 2023 release Elemental will be highlighted. A six foot tall red panda will greet fans celebrating Pixar's Turning Red now streaming on Disney Plus and a photo op with Buzz Lightyear and his robot companion cat Sops from the now in theaters film Lightyear will be available. Disney Animation will invite guests into the realms of Strange World, Encanto and more through engaging photo experiences. In 2019, the Frozen display was so beautiful and I can't wait to see what they come up with in 2022. Fans will also get opportunities to meet the teams behind the series and movies with autograph signings of exclusive art and promotional items giveaways. Also, fun fact, this poster that you see in all of my videos I actually got for free at the D23 Expo and as you can see, I really like it. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.